Hello, welcome. So I'm gonna put us through using Elephant DB as our Postgres uh, database in the cloud to do our project. And I did I had earlier done a video on this, but I found out that what I was talking was not synchronizing with my actions. So I'm gonna pick this up again. So please kindly uh, go to Google and type in Elephant SQL Postgres. Then you'll be led to all these options. Choose this one www.elephantsql.com so that you can get an account. So, Elephant SQL is just like uh, Postgres in the cloud, just like you have at last MongoDB. So, I'm going to click on login. If you don't have an account, you'll be asked to create an account. But me, I'm going to be using a uh, uh, GitHub login. Okay, they just logged me uh, immediately in because um, I was already logged in before. So if not, you would have clicked the option of GitHub so that you use GitHub to log in. So you can see all the databases that I have already. So to create a new database, when you are logged in or you've created an account or you've logged in using your GitHub, if you don't have an account before, they will ask you whether you want to log in with GitHub. Click on GitHub, use it on login instead of having to create a new account. So just click on create new instance. That's how you create a new database. So it you will be led to this under the name. Type the name you want. Me, I'm gonna type uh, as the name I want. I'm gonna type teamwork demo. Teamwork demo. That is the database name. I'm gonna leave it at tiny turtle because it is free that I want to use. I'll leave this tag open. I'll click on select region. So I'll leave the region as the way it is. I'll click on review. Uh, and I'll click on create instance. So I'm not changing anything. So once I click on create instance, you see it here, teamwork demo. That is the new database. So click on the new database that you have that you want to use. And you can see the URL. So click on this eye uh, display, then copy. So once you copy this string, that's what you need. So if you want to connect your database to your uh, to your code, you can simply uh, get to this uh, documentation here. Click on it. Once you click on it, you can click on Node.js because you're using Node. Then you see this code. This is the code that you're supposed to use to connect. So inside here, you put your string. You can see where they wrote it. Insert your string here. So I copied this code and I came to my server.js. Uh, this is my server.js. You remember my server.js. So I pasted the code here. I just copied that code I showed you. Pasted it here. Then in place of that place, they say insert your this thing. I inserted my my string this is my string so once you do that and you do your normal run you are going to see server running on port 3000 as well as connected to database so once you see this connected to database then you know it is working well so remember i just pasted the code i copied from here this same code that's what i used so i make sure i declare this and pasted this so I copied it and pasted it here. But you can use you see that here they are using var. They are using they are not using ES6. So I just changed it to use my import instead of var. So you can use it, put your let here as well or const to still work. But this is the string that I copied. So that is how you connect. So that you connect to database and you still have your app uh, routes running. So once you see these two things, that means it is working very well because you can see connected to database be careful in your own if you copy exactly what is here you will get time because their own is console.log is consoling time out you can see it console.log results time but me i changed my own console.log to i changed it to connected to database so that i can relate to the information so that is how you connect to your database if you have any questions and concerns please drop them in the comment section thank you